I need to finish this book today. It's a must, a need, not a want. Look like I'm in a 70s band. I always love the difference between my outfits and Alex's outfits on pretty much any given day. It's so cute. I mean, I look cute too, but I'm just like chill. I'm loungy versus he actually looks more put together, but like he borrowed my, show him the bag. He borrowed my bag today. How cute. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. He also just got these pants yesterday. So I was like, you need some like tailored cute little trouser pants in your life. Love some wardrobe upgrades. I'm gonna show you my new stuff that I got later today, but I'm gonna go to Pilates. Just gonna stop home, grab my stuff. Hello, little cherub. Oh, just waiting for us. Hello, I missed you too. Oh, you got me a toy? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Plan to match. How exciting is it to get a workout class when you have a new workout set? I've actually picked out quite a few new activewear pieces and just some new loungewear. Also some new items for my upcoming trips that are cold weather. So I'm gonna do a little Everlane haul. So thank you so much to Everlane for partnering with me on this video. You guys know I'm obsessed with them. They're all about sustainability and transparency and I just absolutely love their clothes. I mean, it makes up like 85% of my wardrobe. So <laughs> it's so good, especially their activewear. So if you haven't gotten on the perform train yet, what are we doing? First up, I got this little quarter zip which is the cutest, is it a quarter zip? Oh my gosh, I always get these confused. Quarter or half zip? I'm gonna go with half zip. It feels right. Putting it on the screen if I'm right or not. I feel like I always talk about this in my hauls, but I'm pretty much always just trying to look for those gaps in my wardrobe, things that I feel like I'm constantly gravitating towards. And then I'm like, oh, I don't have something like that. Make a mental note. So a sweatshirt like this was on that list. I feel like it's just something that I'm always gravitating towards, especially like mornings like today where I'm just going to the coffee shop and it's a little cold in there. So I just want something easy I can throw on, especially over my workout outfits when I'm going on a hike or Pilates. I got a medium in this. I feel like it's the perfect size. Look at this detail. Can't confirm I've been wearing this constantly. So you're probably gonna see me overwear this. Normalize wearing the same outfit every single day for two weeks. My little workout set, I mean, stop. Are we kidding? But I saw this color and I was like, ooh. I need you. And for those wondering, it does have a pretty high support level. This is what the back looks like. Jennifer is ready for Pilates. And these run true to size. I always get a small. They fit so comfortably. They're not too tight on the waistband. That's a pet peeve of mine. Especially workout outfits and sweatpants that are too tight. Like I don't want to feel you on me. They're also buttery soft and they use also recycled materials. So we love a sustainable queen. And now I have you in my mirror. Here's what the sports bra looks like again. They come in a bunch of different colors, really good support. Just like my leggings, I hate when the band on a sports bra is too tight. I feel claustrophobic, so that's not the vibe. These are perfect. It gives you the right amount of support, but not digging in. And then again, here's what the leggings look like. And look, guys, it makes me look like I have a butt. I love ribbed clothing, ribbed tanks, ribbed bras. I am so here for it. So I saw that they had this little matching set. Then I can wear them with an oversized button down, running errands, super cute. And I also wanted to get these because I'm going on a couple cold weather trips. I'm going to Colorado in a couple weeks and I really wanted something that was like this that I can wear and just kind of layer, like wear with some boots, little turtleneck, a puffer. I'm sorry, how cute is this rib set? I am so dead. This is super thick, probably the thickest leggings and little like workout set that I have, but I feel like that's because you can also wear it for so many different occasions. The cutie little rib detailing. This one I would say has a little bit less support than the regular perform bra that I just showed you. The material is just definitely different and more of an everyday material than just workout, but still medium coverage. We love it. And the matching leggings. I mean, I feel like this is such a vibe. I'm definitely gonna be wearing this for future travel days. I feel like how perfect would this be on a long road trip and also just going to the airport. I love the thick waistband. It's a little bit stretchy, which is great. Hold it in holds the end. I love this so much. I got one more legging and I just realized it had a pocket inside, but these ones do too. So on the inside of the front waistband, there's this little slit. That's actually life-changing. I had no idea. Got another one of these leggings because I don't have this color. And I thought it would also look really good with this if I wanted something a little bit more lightweight. The color match on these with this sports bra is like actually perfect. This was the intention so that I can also kind of mix and match things and how freaking cute. These ones are buttery soft, like more so than the blue ones, which has more of like a brush finish to it for some reason. Maybe it's just the color of the fabric, but oh, 
these are butter. Same exact leggings that I tried on in the blue one. Ankle length, we love. Whenever I'm online shopping, I like to do a complete look just so that I can visualize exactly how I'm gonna wear this. So like I said, I would wear this with like an oversized button down, but I also decided to pick up a couple hoodies aside from the black one, which I would obviously wear with this outfit as well. And I have, I also wanted to go for kind of a monochromatic look. So I picked up one of their organic cotton hoodies. So how cute, I thought as a little, I'll probably wear this today, honestly, because how cute is this? It matches. I think this is actually the exact same color. I sized up in this to an extra large. I feel like the fit is absolutely perfect and exactly what I was going for, just kind of that effortless, that girl vibe. You know what I mean? Perfect travel outfit, add some sunglasses. And also I know I'm a shoe addict, but it's okay. Cause I am aware. My friends always wear white leather sneakers and every time I'm like, mm, I need some of those. So I decided to get these ones cause they look super lightweight and they are, but they also are made from no new leather. So how cool is that? Sustainable. This is just what I wear on a daily basis. Okay, I love simple. I love comfy. Mommy, sorry, mommy. How cute is this outfit? This is Jennifer to a T. Have you seen a more Jennifer running Aaron's outfit? But these little sneakers. I also got two of their tank tops because I'm obsessed with them. So this is the first tank top. Obviously, I'd probably just wear this with a normal bra underneath. Love the heathered kind of grayish brown color that we're working with. This one is a little bit longer than the other one. So if you want more coverage or if you have a longer torso, then this will be perfect for you. I kind of like to bunch mine up, honestly, just because that's how I roll now. So a very short torso. This one, I'm so obsessed with. I've been wearing this constantly. This is such a nice way to elevate your work from home attire. It's chic and cute but also comfy. So I paired this with some wide leg lounge pants and it was such a vibe. This one has this cute little like double tier at the bottom. This one honestly fits my torso so well. Love this. The material is amazing. It's also organic cotton. I need to get more colors of these <laughs> in my life. I just got a couple more things. I got one more hoodie. This was also specifically for my active wear. I love the athletic vibe of this one, but I got this in an extra small. I wanted it intentionally to be more fitted just because I feel like I always go super oversized with my jacket. I love the taupe with this kind of bone color, which matches honestly this perfectly. And the last two things I got were specifically for our Colorado trip. So first I got this little cardigan, which I just absolutely needed in my life. <sighs> their cardigans are the best. Here's the money shot, baby. How freaking cute. If you haven't gotten one of their cardigans yet, do yourself a favor. The finale. Oh my gosh, I am so dead. I wanted to get this trench coat. I feel like Molly Mae in this. The length is perfect because most trench coats are so like on the floor piling on me and it just doesn't work unless I'm wearing super high heels, which I don't want to wear in cold weather. No, thank you. How cute would this be also at the airport? With your little luggage how chic it's this beautiful gray color which I thought would go with so many different outfits especially because I'm mostly just wearing black and white and neutrals you get it and my sizing for every piece is also gonna be below so I got you but I'm gonna put this back on for Pilates because I'm just feeling blue the vibe for today I have like a few minutes to spare I remember that my freaking sideburns are raging I'm growing out my sideburns I will <laughs> give you the full rundown later long story short I cut my sideburns off like in i feel like in high school college i honestly don't even remember when i did this but once you start you just can't go back so you just have to keep going and recently i decided you know what it's time to finally bite the bullet and go through the awkward stages of growing them back i found this from an old halloween costume and i have these for my brows and i just started using this to gel them back and honestly it has changed my life. Now I can at least gel them back to the point where they look kind of like normal sideburns. <laughs> Much better. This is my go-to Pilates bag. Air pump, keys, sun of shade, my water. <laughs> so good i definitely need to be more consistent with that because when i do that i feel like so strong it's really cool to see like the progress that i made just taking that same class because i remember and i've talked about this before but when i first took that class i didn't realize there was a beginner course like class that you should take at least three of before you jump right into the regular classes because they are hard let me tell you they look easy because they're also these wispies hello it's like low impact and stuff but don't let that fool you so when i first took it i literally thought i was having a heart attack like i pulled something in my chest i was not doing the moves right and it hurt so badly that i left in tears and i felt so weak and i was just like how is 
how does everyone do this class and make it seem so easy? Like I thought, I thought it was gonna be a breeze, a walk in the park. <laughs> so I was scarred and I was like, okay, Pilates isn't for me. Then I did a little research and I discovered that indeed you're supposed to take some beginner classes. So I started doing that, which is like only available at night. So I went there three times a week, did the night classes, learned the moves because before it was like, oh, do the reverse crawfish. I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? Did that and then I hopped right into the regular class. I was so nervous. I remember the first one I did, I was so proud of myself because I was like, oh my God, I can do this. And I've been addicted ever since. So moral of the story guys, don't give up on something even if you fail at first because I literally felt like the biggest failure ever. Not everything has to be easy. You want things to be challenging and failing made me appreciate it more and keep going. But on that note, how <laughs> does everyone film themselves with their workout classes? Because I feel so freaking awkward. I was like, I'm gonna do it today. But you're so close to everybody else. And I'm like, I don't wanna make anyone uncomfortable. <gasps> I see my child, hello. Olive, are you kidding me? Olive, hi. <laughs> hello. Oh my God, are you gonna serenade me? No. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, I can't handle you. Hello, baby. Can you even see me? I'm coming for you. You look like you're in jail. I feel like I wanna do some diet makeup. I think Alex deemed that term <laughs> for the days that I just wanna do like quick makeup if we're going somewhere and I'm like, oh, I don't need to put some makeup on. He's like, just do your diet makeup. It's like it's like the, the light version. No frills, no fuss. Do I wanna start well? Here's my issue. I sometimes just don't know what that means. It's not even about like, I need makeup on at all times because I definitely don't, but there's, it's just so fun for me, especially trying new products. So I'm like, oh, I wanna use my flawless filter. And I'm like, why? <laughs> why do I need it if I'm not doing anything groundbreaking? Why do I need a flawless filter? Cause it makes me feel glowy in 10 out of 10. Also, please let me know if you do your makeup in the bathroom like a normal person, or do you just sit on your floor in your bedroom or wherever there is the best lighting, prop yourself in front of a window. So my office floor is just kind of where it's at. Although I just keep my makeup just in the corner on my floor, which is probably not a vibe, but it's just me in here. Who am I impressing? And I lost, lost in a heat of uh-huh. Anyone else have just TikTok songs perpetually stuck in their head on a loop and no other information? Like that is 99% of my brain these days. Also, before I go to bed, I just sit there and then a song will randomly come in my head and then I can't get it out of my head. So I'm just laying there in bed trying to fall asleep for the life of me and my brain just wants to keep replaying songs. I'm like, okay, again, great. <laughs> I always feel like the movie Inside Out. I feel like that's what's happening. Someone is doing this to me inside of my body just for shits and gigs. And I'm like, well played. And just like that, we got the day make a baby. Speaking of, I need to finish that. I am so behind on it just like that because it's just not impressing me. But I did start watching it last night, a couple of the episodes like rewatching cause I was kind of half watching them before and I was watching that while I was cleaning. So I feel like I'm on episode six or seven now. I believe there's 10. I need to drop off some packages. Box them up last night, I only have two. But what's really exciting is I have this newer, newish, probably have the past like two months, label printer and it's changed my life. It's so exciting. But it is very exciting because I just get to print my own label and it does it without ink. It's really cool. It does it with like a laser. It's very exciting. So I feel so professional when I'm sending back my returns and actually returning things. I can do hard things. Actually, I'm just an idiot. I, for my birthday outfit, which was pretty iconic. You guys said it reminded you of Britney Spears, which I'm just so here for. But I accidentally, like I must have just blacked out when I was ordering things and I didn't realize how much I spent. Event. And then I got the notification on my shop app because that's where I just linked it to. And when it was shipped, it said like the price of it and it was over a thousand dollars. I was like, for one outfit, that doesn't make sense. I was like, no, there's absolutely no way. Lo and behold, I ordered multiple pants, like three, four pants. I'm not exactly sure what I was thinking. Gonna return the pants. I only have 10 days from the day that it came to return it, but I need to return it today or else I just know I'm gonna forget it. And then I'm gonna be out so much. Dropping off my packages. I am amazing. Doing this a day after I pack them up, that's, that's a first. This is a drama free environment, but I am a diva. So be nice or leave. Where are we going? I don't know. We're just driving around. How exciting. I love an adventure. Update, we found a park. So we're gonna go check it out. This reminds me of that time that we were walking back from the coffee shop because we decided we we're like, might as well just walk. I had to pee so badly. I was dying. And then of course that one coffee shop didn't have a bathroom. I had to walk all the way back. And I was like, I'm 
going to pee my pants like right here right now found somewhere like this but it wasn't this exact park you know there's so many dogs here and they're so freaking cute we found some workout machines <laughs> does it actually like it doesn't do anything doesn't do anything for your arms I feel like you would have some resistance or something. Zero. Really? Oh, it's like I'm growing. I feel like it doesn't have enough resistance. <laughs> this book is getting crazy. I'm at the 90% mark, so I'm about to finish it. Probably when I get home. Finished. The Good Lie by A.R. Tor. I'm not really gonna review it on my Instagram. I normally review every book that I read in real time on my Instagram highlights, 2022 reads, if you wanna check that out. But I don't review my book club's book of the month just because we do like full in depth discussions at the end of every month. So this was actually our February book of the month because, okay, we've been on a romance kick. The PTA crew tier helps me pick our upcoming book of the month. So if you'd like to have a hand in that, join the PTA. We were like, you know, we've been reading a lot of romances and rom-coms, lighter reads, and we kind of got our start in thrillers. And that's where I got my start in reading too. Like 2020, I was only reading thrillers. I've taken a break from them for a while, but we were like, I know February is technically the month of love and it would make sense to do a love book. We were gonna do a Christina Lauren book, but then we were like, fuck it, let's do a thriller. I'm so excited for the discussions on this book though already because I just had so many theories going into it. There were so many different storylines kind of converging. Book seven of the year is complete. I can't decide if I wanna start the sequel to Flock tonight, cause that's a trilogy and it's still kind of fresh in my mind. So maybe I should start that one, but everyone says I'm gonna be so destroyed by the middle of the book and I'm already just so unwell about it. I might start this series called Mindfuck because there's five books but they're all really short and everybody's talking about on book talk right now so i kind of want to ride that bandwagon I had a couple packages at our door so i figured i might as well go through them first i actually got my outfit in for friday friday we're actually going to this justin bieber revolve thing so i got my little outfit in you cannot see this at all the pants have like this wraparound detailing so it kind of crisscrosses kind of like my velvet pants that i have yeah they have a lit leg and then it has a little matching top and then i got some shoes which i'm actually not gonna wear this with this outfit because they're i mean obviously you can wear brown and black but this was not the vibe i have other shoes for that but i just needed some brown heels because i feel like that was also a gap in my wardrobe i love a little strappy moment how fun are those that's on friday i'm so excited it's also victoria's birthday who i actually had my joint birthday with this weekend which was so much fun ah, i'm 28 you guys isn't this crazy? Where are my Aquarius sisters at? I forgot to talk about that, but thank you guys all for your sweet messages on my Instagram this past weekend. I had such a fun birthday weekend. I started the day with brunch with Connor, Jill, and Alex, and we went to the Viceroy, and it was so freaking good. Oh my God, this brunch was amazing. <laughs> and after that, we went to Jameson's for a drink, and then we head over to Color Me Mine, which is like one of those paint-a-plate places, which I used to spend my birthdays, and just every summer I would go as a because I was obsessed with it just painting like those you can paint pretty much anything you want pottery whatever and I used to draw dogs all the time and I drew specifically a West Highland West Terrier and I named it Muffin because I just wanted that dog so badly and every year I was like maybe for Christmas I'm gonna finally get a dog I did it but I got my little Oliver over there so I felt like I had to in honor of actually having a dog and finally going back to one of these places I painted him so I'm excited to get that back. Although I would have spent way more time there and doing the details. It was kind of a quick, it was a quick paint job. We'll see how that turns out. And then we went home, changed, and then went to dinner, which was so interesting. It was this place that we had never heard of, but Victoria saw it on Instagram and she's like, might as well give it a try. It's really close to where I used to live in Hollywood, which is funny. So it has to be somewhat new because it was not there when I lived there. It kind of turned into a club. There was like fire dancers. It was so interesting. I didn't expect the food to be that good. And it was actually really, really good. Everything we had was super good, which was shocking. And then after that, we went to the club. Me, I know, but it was kind of a loungy one. Warwick, if you're familiar with that one, it's very loungy and really, really cool inside. So it's my idea of a club. It was very chill in terms of how clubs are, like it's nothing like Vegas. So that was a blast, but Victoria's actual birthday is Friday. So we're going to this event. So I'll be wear that. And then we're heading to Big Bear for the weekend to watch the Super Bowl and just have like a chill, fun weekend trip together. So the birthday festivities are continuing. Oh my God, you guys, this next package. I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm not well. For some reason, receiving book packages are so exciting to me. Like 
I freak out over it. <laughs> Holy shit, this is a big book. Oh my God. I never realized how big this book was because I read it on Kindle. This is huge. If you follow me again on Instagram, I talked about this book last year when I first read it and I was so unwell about it. I've never choke cried more in a book. I've never loved main character so much. And just this story was so heartbreaking, but it also made you just feel like so in love with life and the little things that we take for granted. And it just was such a good reminder to me to make an impact on other people and just connect with people and be a good person. That's just kind of like what the main character stands for. I chose it as our book club's January pick of the month because I really wanted people to talk about because I feel like this book is so underrated and it's also on Kindle Unlimited, which is where I read it. So if you have a Kindle, you gotta read Bright Side. And it's actually a series as well. And it literally says, you must read it, Colleen Hoover. So I mean, if that's not an endorsement of the century, two queens. But Kim Holden actually saw me post about it so many times because I'm <laughs> obsessed with it that she DM'd me and she was like, I would love to send you a signed copy of Bright Side and oh. Oh my God. So it says do epic right here, which is kind of the theme of this book. And they say it a lot. And then, oh my gosh, I could cry. It looks like there's a page in here that she threw in here that's from Gus, which is the sequel, which I love Gus as well. And it says, you are pure sunshine, Kim. <laughs> and then right here it says, Caitlin, do epic. Oh, I'm sorry. I am unwell. I'm unwell. That is so freaking cute. I need to go film this and put this on my TikTok ASAP. <laughs> this is so cool. I think it's so freaking cool getting like recognized by authors just by me sharing books that I genuinely love and them seeing it is crazy to me. Cause so I'm like, you wrote this. Like you wrote this freaking work of art and you know who I exist. What? But she recently changed the covers of them and I really, really like it. Looks so nice. But shameless promo, go follow me on TikTok because it's, we got B's books. It's great. Next, I got some stuff from Petal and Pup and I have no idea when I got, I forgot. Ooh, did I get a blazer? I hope so because this is one thing that I literally every night I go out. I'm going out to dinner, going out with friends and I need a black blazer. And every time I go in my closet to grab what I think is a black blazer, I remember that I don't have one, so <laughs> yay! Some pantaloons, apparently. Some wide leg trousers, it looks like. <laughs> I love being surprised by my own shopping. I kind of forgot what I picked out. I guess I got the same pants in black. I clearly have a type. <laughs> Last package, though, <laughs> is my ski suit. I actually don't want to show you this because it's gonna be a surprise. You have to follow me on Instagram, but let's just say it's a fun color. If you wanna see it, you gotta go see my Instagram. I hope this all fits. I am so dead. Sorry to keep you hanging, but I just, we need some element of surprise, you know? Bay is making some dinner. What are you making? What kind of soup? Turn around, look at the table, see what you see. <gasps> oh my God, are you kidding? You're actually making this? I forgot about the soup. Bitch, bitch. Chicken pot pie from the Vegan Comfort Classics. This shit slaps. I forgot, I kind of forgot about this cookbook to be honest. So I feel like you haven't made anything from it in so long. We love soups, we make soup. We, I mean he, makes soups probably twice a week. It's just a go-to. Easy, it's fun, it's filling. We get leftovers. What more could you want? Dinner is ready. Mm. Oh. My eyes. Oh yeah. Look at all of that goodness. Okay, Alex said there is a missing ingredient he completely forgot about, so it's up to me to figure it out. <laughs> Did you forget the chicken? In the chicken pot pie. Some chickenless chicken pot pie soup. Mm -hmm. It feels so good though. I miss the soup. Just disgusting. Classic dad joke. I need to shower cause my hair is disgusting. What day are we on? I don't know, five? That's not bad. Up. Finally wash my hair, it feels so good. I also use this leave-in conditioner by Lavish, no, by Mish. And this is a brand that's for curly hair, which I love and have been testing out. I still need to do an updated curly hair routine. I just honestly haven't worn my hair natural in a minute. So I need to test some new products for that because I still love and use my Weed Ad curl products, but I also haven't ventured too much into the curly hair world like products. So I feel like I should test some out. I also did a deep conditioner mask today with my Bondi Boost, but I used the thickening one just to test out some other of their products and I really like it as well. I feel like my hair definitely, like the strands feel a little bit thicker. We love some volume. 